Okay, welcome back, and today we're doing our lab investigation on viscosity. Viscosity. To do this, we'll be doing the famous liquid viscosity lab. To do this lab, what happens is you will be given vials. These are glass containers or vials, so be careful. Do not drop them. Do not knock them over. When they're out, hang onto them and only have one out at a time. They contain one of the following liquids. There's one with corn oil, one with alcohol, one with salt water, one with motor oil, one with olive oil, and one with glycerin. For those of you that aren't familiar with glycerin, glycerin is found in many products such as hand sanitizer. It contains glycerin that makes it rather thick and gooey. Glycerin is also used in skin care products to make you nice and uh, luscious and gooey when you're using hand cream. And also, it can be combined with nitrogen compounds to make nitroglycerin, which is a heart medicine as well as an explosive. So basically, what you're going to do today is you will take a vial, like let's say the one with the red in it. So that would be your red bead. These are called viscosity beads. And you will time how much time it takes for, using your stopwatch, of course, you will time how much time it takes on your mark and set go for the bead to fall to the bottom. Then you do it again. And you do it three times. Each time, of course, you record how much time it took. So you'll have three times. Then you will add those together and divide by three to get the average. Once you get all the data for all of yours, and I would like to point out one is a little unusual. The vial with the yellow bead in it, you say, where is the yellow bead? Well, it's at the top. The yellow bead has the unusual tendency that the bead falls up. So you will have to time it with the bead as it falls up instead of falling down. All right, so that's something a little different. Now, once you have all of your times, the ones that have the longest amount of times, they are the most viscous. Those that are the fastest, they are the least viscous. Viscosity looks at sort of like thickness. Thick means viscous. Uh, low viscosity means it's very runny, a very runny liquid. Now, let's look at how you figure things out. Look at our clues. The first one says, our oils are darker in color than our other liquids in the lab. So there's three oils. There's corn oil, motor oil, olive oil. So we see here, that's a dark one. That one's not clear. And that one's not clear. So those three are the oils. Second clue says, car engines need the most viscous oil to protect the engine from friction. So motor oil is in cars. And so we look at the three oils one, two, three, and we look at their times and we find that the purple one, the purple bead, has the longest time, so that's the most viscous oil, so that one must be car oil or motor oil, so you'd write then motor oil there. Then you use the rest of the clues to figure out what they are. When you get those all identified, you then stop. Tomorrow, we'll talk about how to graph this data in the way I want you to do graphing. All right, please go back and carefully measure your data.